For attenuated total reflection, I'm going to use an accessory which is actually built in to the thermoscientific Nicolay IS50 spectrometer. It's called the IS50 ATR. It's a diamond ATR. But for the purpose of this video, I just wanted to give you a close-up view of what this accessory looks like and what the samples are that we're going to be running when we get over there. First of all, there will be a crystal on that accessory. This crystal here is diamond, just like the one over there is. I'm going to lift it off. So now that you can see the diamond from there, okay? I will rotate it around. You can see the diamond from the back. I will probably show you this again when we're in the lab. But uh, just to, to be clear, it's a diamond accessory. This accessory can also use a germanium crystal and a zinc selenide crystal. The diamond is easily the most popular. This is the Smart ITX. The other components, which will again be consistent with the built-in ATR, are going to be a pressure anvil. And here you can see the pressure anvils can be changed out. We have a pressure anvil that's a cup and a pressure anvil that's simply a flat. Okay, pulling them out. So there's the two pressure anvils, the, the cup and the flat, which you can use either one you want. I'm going to put the cup back in and use the flat. This little device here, which is used with the Smart ITX, is a liquid sampling accessory. It's used to prevent the liquids from evaporating when you run it. It has a small gasket down inside of it. You can see that gasket in there. And when I invert it, place it down on this, and then use the pressure device, I can hold that gasket down. And again, you should be able to hear it click as I rotate this. And you'll see that on the accessory in the other lap. That prevents me from applying too much pressure, so that's applying the appropriate down force. Now the kinds of samples that I'm going to be running, I'm going to run some liquids. Here I've got some soda and some water, so I'm going to be running those just by putting a drop on there. I'm also going to be running a powder, which I've ground up. So I'll run that powder on there, just a little bit of powder. I'm also going to run a plastic card or a business card or something like that, which I can just put on there and run. And then you can run all sorts of things. You can run single fibers like hairs. You can run uh, your finger. We, we um, may look at your finger. We can do all sorts of different things as the sample that's on there. The most important things, it must make intimate contact with the surface. You must have a good solid contact. This material right here is a black rubber. If I was to try and run that on the diamond, you would see one of the other issues, which is the depth of penetration. I mentioned that in the theory portion of this, but that would cause me to get a signal that was too strong. It would be off scale. In that case, I probably want to change over to the germanium crystal. So that's all there is to this accessory. The light goes in, bounces up off of that diamond. We get the attenuated total reflection effect. We get the signal off of that. So now let's take this over to the lab and get some data collected on it.